don't sleep on me, beloved. Because I have used my energy to defy the odds by enrolling in college to keep my promise I made to myself back in third grade. The Theater for Social Change has been a vehicle that I've been allowed to sit in um, to help me along with my process with returning back to society after spending time in prison. Welcome to the Theater for Social Change, a performance ensemble made up entirely of formerly incarcerated women, sharing their experiences with the criminal justice system and as returning citizens. And there is no discussion to be had about us without us. It's us revealing and showing ourselves and sharing ourselves and our experience with others. And um, it's quite beneficial, it's quite beneficial for the group as a whole. And then as we perform, it'll be beneficial to the audience as well because they'll be able to feel some of the pain and also the glory and the triumphs that we've gone through since we've been um, home adjusting to being released from prison, embracing education, um, being positive role models in a society where we used to um, become lost. But now we found our voice and we know how to use it productively. The Theater for Social Change operates under the umbrella of the College and Community Fellowship, or CCF, an organization dedicated to helping women with criminal convictions earn college degrees. Vivian Nixon is their director. I know what I found out about College and Community Fellowship. I was incarcerated at Albion Correctional Facility. The thing that stuck out to me about College and Community Fellowship was the word college. Everything else came as a bonus. The CCF was originally housed at CUNY, with the Theater for Social Change having yearly CCF graduation performances at the Grad Center. They've also performed everywhere from Rikers to Brown and Columbia University to the Harlem State Office Building. Our process is that we do a lot of improv and free writing with the help of a professional theater coach. And then with the help of someone who is actually trained in theater, that is developed into a script. We had a prison experience, and then we're returning home, not just back to society, but back to family members, to back to our children. And so it allows us to talk about the things that are hard to talk about with other people who have similar experiences. Yes, it happened, it's there, and I am where I am now in spite of it. And that shows my resilience. But one way to kind of soften the view that society has about those who are incarcerated is to change the narrative. And we change the narrative by telling our stories. I am my sister's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, I'm gonna say her name. I am my sister's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, I'm gonna say her name. I am my sister's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, I'm gonna say her name. I am my sister's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, I'm gonna say her name. I am my sister's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, I'm gonna say her name. I am my sister's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, I'm gonna say her name. I am my sister's keeper. Freedom. It's more complicated than just being free. It's a political act. It means taking up space. Daring to create, resist, and speak truth to power. But what does freedom really look like? And how do you hold on to it once you get it? It's not so simple. Sometimes it's invisible. 
like a figment of your imagination just slipping through your fingers. But I know it's mine. A state of mind, just like bars can be sometimes. I guess what I remember most about this particular day is that he was leaving. His belongings were packed and he was all ready to go. I was pushing him down the hall. The women were saying, bye, Demetrius. Another rule was they couldn't touch the babies. The babies were always set. Bye, Demetrius. I couldn't show emotion because they said that he would know. As I pushed him down the hall, we got to our destination. I remember all giving up my motherhood, relinquishing it to my mother, but I couldn't see her on the other side. When I handed my son to a New York City correctional officer, he cried and he wailed, a cry that I will never forget. Don't show emotion, he'll know. So this is it. I'm gonna die now. You know, it's true what they say. Your life really does flash by. Seconds. I've had three names. Yo, Yo S. S was my street name. My mean streets of Harlem name. They called me S because we were in fast mode. The whole hustle and bustle of using and selling and ducking from the police mode. There was a time to say, Selena. No way, there wasn't time for a whole name, it was S. Yo, no, S, S on, on the count. Now my second name was a little longer, but you still have to say it kind of fast. Male fit officer on the unit. 98G, oh, oh, 32. I'll never forget that number. In 1998, I was the 32nd woman to hit the state graphics. Excuse me. I'm looking for Professor Bulford. <laughs> Now that's music to my ears. <laughs> Working all day, going to school at night, it landed me an adjunct professor position. Yes, I am Professor Selena Fulford. And your name is? that she founded. You know, I had a second cousin who founded a book club. <laughs> Years ago, when I found out that Barbara was going into a woman's prison to teach, you know, I was very concerned for her safety. In fact, 
I called her up on the telephone and I tried to talk her out of it. And then when I found out that it was a maximum security prison, my goodness, amazing this woman. And just to think that we're all here together to honor this amazing organization. You know, wasn't the food absolutely amazing here tonight? <laughs> you know, so many galas this month. I think I'm going to go to the mall. I just wanted to let everybody know that all of us are successful now. Mm -hmm. All of us, we're going to school, we're in school. We've got buildings. We're going for our PhDs. We're going for PhDs. So it was a process. Mm -hmm. So was it painful? Is it still painful? Anything that you've gone through in life that places you in a position to feel emotionally, it's going to always remain with you. Do you relive it differently each time? Absolutely. You get stronger each time we present it. I am my sister's keeper. I am my sister's keeper. I am my sister's keeper. I'm gonna say her name.